Lenovo is better known for its notebooks and laptops than for its smartphones, but that isn't stopping the electronics maker from launching the Vibe Z here at CES 2014. The company's first LTE-capable smartphone, the Vibe Z strives for edgy design and high-end features, starting with Android 4.3 and a laser-etched back panel that's meant to feel like fabric in the hand. Now, following trends in super-sized handsets, the Vibe Z is outfitted with a 5.5-inch screen that the company has dubbed 2020 Vision. In layman's terms, that translates to a 1080p HD IPS display and a 400 pixels per inch pixel density, which is actually pretty high for a smartphone. A phone this size could easily weigh you down, yet like the 5.7 inch Samsung Galaxy Note 3, the Vibe was designed to be light and slim. On the camera front, the Vibe Z packs in a 13 megapixel camera with a 1.8 aperture lens to assist with low light capture. Lenovo also increased the front facing camera, giving it a 5 megapixel shooter instead of the usual 1.2 to 2.1 megapixel norm. The Vibe Z's innards are also up to date, starting with a 2.2 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor that zips along in other premium phones like the Galaxy Note 3 mentioned that I've already mentioned. It has 16 gigabytes of memory for internal storage, which is a little on the lower side and in terms of RAM, you're looking at 2GB of memory. So far, the Vibe Z does sound promising, but we'll, ha we'll, 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 we'll know more when it actually is released later on. Now, Lenovo hasn't actually revealed release date for this smartphone yet, but I'll be sure to let you know when Lenovo does. In the meantime, let me know what you think of this smartphone in the comments below, stay tuned to my channel for a lot more on CES, and I will see you next time. Bye!